days ago, November the 1st, was an important date. I wonder if you know why. Well, November the 1st is called All Saints Day. What do you think a saint is? We'll have a look at a few pictures for some ideas. Is this how we think of saints? Characters from long ago that we often see in stained glass windows in churches. Or how about this famous painting which shows hundreds of saints in heaven. And they've all got halos, haven't they? Kind of shiny circles around their heads. Is this how we think of saints? Sometimes it might mean be a nickname for a sports team. Here is the New Orleans Saints American football team. Here is Southampton FC and their nickname is the Saints. But what about these people? Or these? Are they Saints? Perhaps some of you have got saint names. Some that you might have heard of. Nicholas, or a girl's version, Nicola. Michael. James. Mary. Anne. Martin. There are hundreds of them. Or perhaps you've heard of some churches in the Grimsby and Cleethorpes area that have saints' names. Grimsby Minster used to be called St James Church. There's St Martin's in Grimsby, St Mark's, St Michael's. In Cleethorpes we have St Peter's, St Andrew's. Many churches are named after these characters. But I wonder what a saint really is. We sometimes think of a saint as being somebody who's done something miraculous. Let's look at a few stories now. This is Saint James. James was one of Jesus's disciples, one of the fishermen. He spent a lot of time with Jesus and learnt from him. After Jesus' death, James continued to be a follower and a messenger, spreading the good news of Jesus as he travelled around. His symbol is a shell, which you can see on his hat. You can also see this symbol on the St. James School badge. Many churches would be named after St. James. This is Grimsby Minster, which used to be called St. James Church. St. Mark was somebody who probably never met Jesus, but a little while after Jesus had died and gone back to heaven, Mark was also an important messenger. You might see at the top of the picture, it says Mark the Evangelist. And Mark wrote one of the gospels in the Bible telling people all about what Jesus did and how they could know him for themselves. Here is St Mark's Church in Laceby Road in Grimsby. You've probably heard of St Nicholas. He was well known for giving gifts to people who didn't have very much. And it's from St Nicholas that we get Santa Claus, Christmas. And this is St George. A story about St George says that he killed a dragon and St George is the patron saint of England. In the Bible, the name saint is used quite differently because the Bible describes all Christians, all people who follow Jesus, as saints and it doesn't mean that they're perfect or even anything special it doesn't mean that they wear tinselly halos or that they do miracles the bible describes a saint as anybody who's put their faith 
and trust in Jesus. You might remember recently watching an assembly about light and dark. And we talked about Jesus describing himself as light of the world. And also how Jesus asked his followers to be like lights. Let's just read that part of the Bible again from Matthew chapter 5, when Matthew records Jesus saying these words. Jesus said to his followers, You are like lights for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it underneath a bowl. Instead, he puts it on the lampstand, where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people, so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. And so Christians are called to be saints, not by being perfect or doing miracles, but by trusting God and by sharing light with other people, by doing some good things where possible, by helping people, by loving people, and mostly by telling the good news of Jesus. All Saints Day is a day when Christians remember people from the past who've done great things for God. Some of them we've heard about today. But one day, maybe that could be you. What great things might you do in the future? Let's say a prayer. Father God, we do thank you for the people that we've known, maybe people who've died or gone away, who've done some great things for us, people who've loved us and cared for us, people who've helped and shown us the right way. And we pray too that we might be counted as saints, people who love you, who love others, who try and do the right things and spread some light and joy wherever we go. Amen. Thank you.